Hey, it's Wabbit with another poorly produced video. So I'm in the process of learning the Oxy-1 sequencer and just wanted to share uh, this little tip. Uh, and I'm actually gonna kind of do this on the fly. So we're, we're both learning together. Uh, in this particular case, um, I want to connect the Oxy to the Mac Mini and I could just run a cable uh, from here to my USB hub over there. However, the Oxy-1 has Bluetooth capability. Uh, it connects really fast to the iPad. I can do a separate video on that. Um, so I just thought, well, let's try and do the same thing with the Mac Mini. And I thought, well, first would be just open up Bluetooth settings. I've got it on and it's searching and I'm not seeing anything. So clearly it doesn't work. Um, the actual, uh, there's four track sequencers on here that are individual. And when I hit shift, the output, um, let me try and focus on that so you can see better. It's set to all. So it's looking for USB, um, TRS, uh, MIDI, and um, Bluetooth as well too. So this is all set up. There's nothing else I need to do um, in this um, device. So I'm not seeing anything here. Um, and then kind of what I did in terms of troubleshooting uh, the first thing I did is I went over to the Discord uh, group and I checked in the Oxy One and I just searched uh, Bluetooth Mac and let me just go ahead and pop that in here. Again, trying to look to see if someone else has um, asked a question and I did not see uh, any results. So nothing there. And then the next step is to go to the manual. Um, and again, I did a search for Bluetooth and I came down to this section. Uh, it's under MIDI Bluetooth, and it's this peripheral role. And it just basically explained here, I'm not going to read it to you, but it talks about uh, connecting to the Mac. And really, it's going into the audio MIDI setup. So what it says I need to do is open Bluetooth settings on MIDI Studio window, and then I need to press the Bluetooth icon and press Connect on the Bluetooth configuration window and your Oxy-1 will be shown um, like Oxy-1 Blue. And I assume that's what I need to do. So let's come down here, open up. Let me come back here so you know. Uh, if you go to your uh, utilities menu and your applications, so let's uh, open up and you come down to utilities and it's this audio MIDI setup here. So when I open this up, you're gonna be presented with audio devices. Come up to window and show MIDI studio. And this is what it's referring to in the manual. Um, what I saw in here is this Oxy-1 firmware update. I'm not really sure what that is. Um, I'll look at that later. But according to the manual, press the Bluetooth icon and press connect. So here is the icon. And then here it shows the Oxy-1 BLE. And if I click on connect, let's just see what happens. First time I've done it, it looks like I'm connected. There I see Oxy-1. So I should be a quick uh, post video edit uh, I went back and looked in the system settings after connecting the Oxy-1 uh, to the Mac and it does not show up here as being connected. Uh, so again, you're going to, uh, it's all done in that audio uh, MIDI uh, tab that I just talked about. So just an FYI, in case you're curious, um, it's not going to be found here. Okay, back to the video. Good. Uh, my next step, let's just launch uh, Ableton Live. And let's just see what happens here. I'm running the trial version of Suite, trying to decide if I want to upgrade, leaning that direction, but that's another, <clears throat> excuse me, conversation. Let's go to our settings and let's see what we have on MIDI. And I see in Oxy-1 Bluetooth, so I should be getting MIDI in. Let's go ahead and let's just add a pad. 
And my MIDI, I just have all in. Uh, my audio, let's, oop, let's make sure I got my audio set up correctly. Okay. And then I think I want to turn auto on. Let's turn monitor in. And let's see. I'm just going to, I'm on the track sequencer one, which is mono. So I'll just punch in some random notes here and make sure I got some volume up on the audio interface and we'll see what happens. Bingo. So there you go. Uh, the Oxy One via Bluetooth uh, connected to the Mac. In this particular case, I just had it run through Ableton. Uh, as long as you get your settings set up, it works. I hope this uh, helps you out, and uh, we'll catch you in another video. Take care.